exploration games can be really cool. You know, games in, in which every every little round you, you have to either race or do something different. Uh, this is just something I, I enjoy very much indeed. One of my favorite companies, Ludonot, are people I am very, very fond of. They came out at Spiel with Lewis and Clark. And uh, it is an expedition, basically. I had the pleasure of uh, talking with Mr. Shabuzit, the uh, designer of this game. And they're going at the time of recording this video, they're going for a reprint of the game, which means that it did very, very well. So before you buy this game, we are going to take a look inside this box and find out if the contents are worth the amount of money that you have to spend to get your hands on it. Welcome to the GMS Magazine unboxing videos. Having come out in Spiel, at Spiel, in 2013, and uh, we are recording this in March 2014, and it's already going for a second print, uh, Lewis and Clark, the expedition, has been very, very well received. And to be honest, I don't think I'm going to be surprised, because so far the game looks absolutely beautiful. And Ludonot, which I cannot stress enough how much I like that company, keep coming up with absolutely gorgeous looking games. You know, Phantom is absolutely beautiful, Shitano is just gorgeous, SOS Titanic is great. And now this one, which we're going to take a look inside. Uh, I, I spoke with uh, Cedric Chabuzit, the, the designer at Spiel, and you know, the first thing I noticed of this game is that they have this really good plastic, because I'm struggling to get this box open. Uh, here we are. That's better. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, as I was saying, uh, he's a very nice chap. And it was the first time, this is the first commercial game that he's come out with. And uh, the story goes that they play the game and uh, Anne Cecile and Cedric, the owners of Ludenor, they just wanted to keep playing it. They loved it, they really did. So they went for it and decided to publish it. And this is what we have. Um, Vincent Dutreux, it's the artist. Oh my goodness, what a fantastic job he's done, because the composition and the whole craftsmanship of this illustration in the cover is just absolutely gorgeous. Everything about it is beautiful. The game is meant to be played in about 30 minutes, uh, more or less, and it plays up to five people, uh, which is great, 14 or older. Nice box. It's not, you know, immortal by any means, but it is what you would expect. Nothing special. Nice lamination in the box. Uh, good design all round. Lovely to look at. Ruled books. Three of them, no less. Because you have them in French, in English, and in German. Let's concentrate on the English rules, although I, mean, I presume that all of them are going to look the same. And as it is expected from, from Ludonot, I have to say, this is an absolutely joy to behold. The printing quality is just fantastic. The art direction is lovely. The layout looks very, very nice. There seem to be a fair number of rules, though, and, and admittedly it's a big cramp, but it looks lovely. Everything has been very well detailed. Illustrations all over the place. I'm liking this rule book a lot, even if there seem to be quite a lot of it. Oh, nice touch. The history behind the game. I like this so, so much. And the characters, there's a lot in this game, oh my god. Good grief, the replayability of this game, I'm expecting it to be pretty huge. Because look at all that, good heavens. Very good. 
uh, the Petit Prince, Yggdrasil. Oh, if you haven't played Yggdrasil, you certainly must. Anyway, sorry. Right, stuff. Loads of tokens. Sorry, tokens. And meeples. Oh, <laughs> these are so cool. <laughs> Let me find a few and I'll show you. Oh my goodness, these are so cool. Right, the, the hexagon to control your resources. They're just wooden hexagons. There's nothing particularly special about them. Uh, there, there are lots of them. I think they're 85 or something. But the meeples. Why do I like them so much? Right. You have two types of meeples. Uh, one is the Indian meeples, the First Nation people, and the colonizers. And the First Nation people, the Indian Americans, they have that little lovely feather in their head. <laughs> that is so damn cool. How lovely is that and the colonizers they have a little hat on them very nice touch absolutely lovely touch really liking this terrific baggies for the players to put everything in once you play the first game Thick deck of cards. Put this away. Let's take a look at the cards first. Because I want to see the artwork. Right. They are a little bit thin. Uh, so sleeving will be... It's not advisable. It's going to be necessary. Because look how... They bend just in my hand. So they are a bit on the thin side, although they are laminated, so they should be quite resistant to humidity or whatever. So that one thing, yeah, let's leave these cards, please. Double-sided, because in the game you decide what side you want to play, and, and then you play that side. The artwork, again, is just lovely. Absolutely beautiful. And there's so much of it. Good grief. Like, a lot of it. You have to like a company that puts so much effort into creating the cards for their games. I mean, look at that. They, they are just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, player 8 cards as well. Would you have them? in French, English, and German. Terrific. Very, very good. Player boards. So thick you could spank people with them. That is very nice. I really like that. The board, not the... Never mind. Um, you get five of them. I think, yes, you do. They detach very nicely, so no risk of, of damaging anything, which is very nice. Love the artwork. Come on, what, what is not, what is not to like about those tokens? Look at that. How tremendous. The quality of the printing, once again, is, is just spot on. The tokens are made of the same board, so they are quite thick and nice to use. The design is simple, but very effective. And double-sided. Another board. Uh, 
Oh my goodness. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful board. How fantastic. Yeah, I mean, geographically, it doesn't really uh, add up with, with the United States of America, uh, at least not with the whole thing, but, but you get, you know, you, you get California, and you get Florida, and you get you know, St. Louis and whatever else. How lovely. Mexico, look, is there stunning. The whole thing is just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm not surprised that it's sold, because just for looks itself, this game should be selling easily, easily enough. If it plays anywhere near as well as it looks, my goodness, I cannot wait to get my hands on this one. So, as expected, suspected, Ludonot, you've done it again. Many, many congratulations. Uh, thank you for watching very, very much indeed. And please remember to subscribe because we like subscribers a lot and we like subscribers' friends. So tell your friends to subscribe as well so they can watch these excellent videos. Thank you very much indeed.